Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about UI grid layout in Roblox. To get started, let's go to our started GUI. We're going to add a screen GUI. And select your screen GUI, we're going to add a frame. Bring the frame to the middle somewhere, resize it. And you can change the background of your frame to any color you like. And now we're going to go to our frame, we're going to click on the plus sign, and we're going to add an image label. I'm going to select my image label now, and I'm going to do Control D. Maybe three times, so now I have four different labels. Alright, so there, there are my four labels. Next thing you're going to do is, you're going to go to your toolbox, and you're going to insert images into those labels. So right click, copy asset ID, go back to your label, and you're going to put it into the image property. All right, so here I have inserted four different images into my image labels. Now let's select all four of those labels and I'm going to do control D again. So now I have a total of eight labels altogether. So now I'm going to move each label out. All right, so there's eight of them all together, two of each. Now let's rename the labels. So I'm going to rename them a, B, all right, so I have renamed all the labels from A through H. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the properties of each of these labels. I'm going to look for a property called layout order. So I'm going to change the layout order of each of these. So I'm going to give just different numbers. For example, this is five. This, this is going to be zero, one. I'll leave the C to be zero. This is two. So it's just random numbers, right? I'm giving them random orders, seven, six, nine. And this one could be 22. They each have a different name and a different layout order. Now, as you can see right here, they're pretty messy, right? Like they're on top of each other all over the place. If you want to line them up neatly, what you're going to do is you're going to select the frame, click on the plus sign and add search for UI grid. Select that and immediately look at that. Everything is lined up neatly. You can select your UI grid now. Go to the properties window. You can change the padding. So instead of the default five, I'm gonna make it 10. Now you get more space between each image. You can change the cell size. So instead of 100, you can make it, if it's too big, make it 80. All right, so it's a little bit smaller now. So these numbers are the offset. If you like, you can also use the scale property, the X scale and the Y scale for the uh, cell padding and cell size. Let's go down a little bit more, see what else we have. The, the next property we have is fill direction. So the, the default is horizontal. So I assume they go like this. They start here, they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we want to do vertical, let me change the size of my frame here. Okay, so, so now we can tell better, right? So now we can go back to the UI grid layout. 
going back to the fill direction. So right now it's vertical, it's gonna go down here and then it starts here, then it goes down. If I do horizontal, it's gonna go across like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we don't have nine, we got eight. All right, the next one is fill direction. Max cell is zero. So um, let, let me change this back to uh, vertical, we can see better. So now it fills all the way to the bottom. If I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom, I can say only go up to four. So, so now it just goes one, two, three, four, and then it goes back up to the next column and then to the next column if I have more of those. Horizontal alignment left. You can change it to the right or the center. All right, uh, the next one is, we're gonna skip sort order for now and we're gonna go to start corner. So the default is top left. So even though I'm on the right now, it's gonna start right here at the top left and it goes down like this, right? So if I want to change that, I, I have four different options, bottom left, bottom right, top left, and top right. If I go top right, my face is gonna start here, it goes down, then it goes over here, then it's gonna go this way. Uh, vertical alignment, right now it's top. I can change this to bottom or center. All right, and then the last one we have here is the sort order. So you can sort your objects, your, your, your items inside this UI grid layout. So the sort order right now is layout order. So let's go back and take a look at these images. I believe uh, the start corner is top right right now. Well, why don't I change it to top left? I think that would be less confusing. So it's top left right now. So it starts right here, right at the left and it should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's check it. Um, if we go and click on the labels here. So this one is C and let, let me see what, what is the sort order. I believe the sort order is layout order. Okay, so layout order starts with the C. So C, it, it, if you look at the layout order property of C, it's zero. And let's check the next one, it's one. So right now it goes from zero to layout order one, right? Right here. And then you got two, five, so everything is sorted in layout order. And that's why initially I put in the numbers in the layout order for each of these labels. So you can see that they, they are sorted uh, properly. And you know, when you build your game, you can actually uh, load this inside your script. You don't have to do it manually. Now the other sort order that we have is the, instead of the layout order, we have the name. So we can sort them by name. And now let's go back to the text label. So the first label here is A, right? And then you got B, C. So it goes down this way in, in name order according to the, to the name of each of these labels. Okay, everyone, that's how you use UI grid layout to organize your objects in Roblox.